Hi everyone, today we will talk about how to bind a color to a Excel cell in Excelsior dashboard design. Uh, now you can bind the color for it, your text font or your object, com uh, object uh, component or your series to a cell and the color will change dynamically uh, on the runtime. This is one of the most powerful features that uh, provided by Excel. Before we start, let's have a uh, scenario as an example. Here I have a value, uh, single value uh, cell that display uh, 10, and I link it, uh, bind it to one uh, player that it will change the value uh, starting from 0 to 100. I want here the, color, the font color to be uh, white when the background color is red because I enabled alerting here I will uh, show you how to enable the alerting for the value and when it's yellow or green uh, it should be on black color let's uh, preview this example first and we will construct it step by step here now is the value is 10 and because our target is 100 it will show uh, red because I enabled the alerting feature now if I run the play uh, button, here you can see it's when yellow and when it's green, it will display the text in uh, black. And when the value is in red zone or red area, it will display it on uh, white color. To do this, let's uh, do this uh, together. I will go to component, go to uh, single value category, select uh, value component, value component here. You have title, I don't need to make a title here and data, I will bind data to the uh, the Excel cell here this uh, one this one, it will dynamically change uh, uh, on the runtime to make it dynamically change on the runtime I need to add a play control I will go to uh, single value again and now I will take play control and I will bind this play control to this cell also so this uh, this play control displaying now the value is 10 and it will start from the minimum value here is uh, 0 up to 100 and uh, when I click play it will go increase the increment here is by 1 it will increment it by 1 so it will be 10, 11, 12 until it reaches 100 and it will go over from uh, from the start again. Let's try this for uh, for now. Here if I play this the value is changing and this play control is binding with this uh, value uh, uh, value component. Now I want to enable the alerting for this value component. I will go to alerts tab and will enable alerts. Uh, make sure because it's by default the color order here will be by default low values are good in my example I want low values to be uh, high values are good so when it's reached to 100 or uh, 90 it's good but with, uh, if it's uh, 10 or 20 it uh, uh, should indicate a bad for example bad performance okay then let's try it now again when I run the play control, here is the value changing. Okay. Tap. I will start here. Uh, by default, here the color for uh, for the text displayed here, uh, the value displayed here is black. I want it to be white when I'm in red zone, and to be black when I'm in yellow and uh, green zone. There is a common mistake do, uh, to do it from here, from the appearance. You can control that value text from here. So if you select the color from here, it should change the uh, color for this value. But because I enabled alerting, so the color control uh, should be done from here, from the alert step. Here, I will uh, go to uh, enable auto colors. I will disable this because I want to uh, choose or select my colors by myself and I will bind it to this cell here you have more alerts color if you want to change the alert color itself to bind it to cell or font color here is the for font color I will bind it with this cell with read wise for now now it's turned white and I will do the same for the three 
uh, threshold or three alerting uh, percentage that I have. Here I will bind the colors also for this. Three will uh, read from the same cell. Okay, now if I leave it like this, it will display like white for uh, all three uh, zones, red zone and yellow zone and green zone. To make it dynamic, I will go here and will make an Excel formula. Here simply I will compare the actual value, the value displayed here, and check if it's less than 30, because here my target is 30%. If it's um, less than 30, then I will display the color in this one, uh, this cell, F1, which is white. Otherwise, I will display F2 colors, which is black. So this on the fly, let's uh, track it also to... Uh, here I will display text component label to show you how this values changing on the runtime. I will bind this cell with the color one. And let's preview again. Now, as you can see here, the color dynamically changes on the runtime based on the value because we compare ourselves to the the percentage and if I'm red zone it will come here as white otherwise it will read as black and because my cell or my font color for this value is linked to this color it will display the right color that I want. You you can use the same for all objects in Excelatius Dashboard Designer and you can use the same principle for to bind any uh, any color to bind any color to an Excel cell. Uh, one uh, final note, you can use uh, write the color or you can use the uh, hexa code for the color. Yani for example, if I use a hexa code for white which is hash uh, uh, ff, uh, ff, ff, ff then it will do the exactly the same if I use the uh, if I write it uh, uh, alphabetically. Thanks for watching, and I hope that was useful for you. Bye.